Title match for the Louisiana Heavyweight Championship. This event is for one fall or remaining television time. In the red corner, at 306 pounds from Mongolia, the Louisiana Heavyweight Champion, Killer Khan. And in the blue corner, at 287 pounds from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, Iron Mike Sharp. Battle match coming up, jeers and cheers from the fans here at ringside. The jeers for the Louisiana champion from Mongolia, Killer Khan, and the cheers reserved for Canada's fine professional athlete, Iron Mike Sharp. Alfred Neely, the referee for this title match, calls for the bell, and here's Bill Watts. Well, Boyd Pierce, these are two big, powerful men. And, of course, we know that Killer Khan is unscrupulous and has no mercy. And under Skandar Akbar's guidance, he could have probably a lot of the cruelty that's inherent to, or certainly that is publicized about the Mongolian race. Mike Sharp, they're just locked up like two big bulls. And again, Grizzly Smith has the first week that he's faced with the problem of the junkyard dog refusing to wrestle here on Mid-South Television Wrestling. I'm afraid that could be a strong point in the favor of people like Akbar and Khan and one man gang and of course DiBiase and now Hacksaw Dugan because that could tip the scale in their favor. They could leave some people that really think the world of Junkyard Dog like Mike Sharp, like Mr. Olympia, like Buck Roby, that could leave them kind of exposed because the dog was always a force to be reckoned with. He was the one that they were all concentrating on and that allowed them all to be able to attack these people on an equal footing. Now you see the tremendous muscular strain between Mike Sharp and Killer Khan as these two big men grapple for supremacy and the test of strength to see who is going to intimidate the other with just pure brute force. But Mike Sharp is hard to overpower. Listen to the crowd chant, USA, USA. We have Colonel Buck Roby scheduled later against the Assassin. Ted DiBiase and Hacksaw Dugan. All these are standby matches. This match can go one fall or TV time remaining in this title bout. Eric Killer Khan taking Mike Sharp down by the hair. I'll guarantee if somebody snatches your hair, if they got enough to get a good handhold in, they'll take your body with it because where your head goes, your body's gonna go. And Akbar out there, as you can see, He's wanting Mike Sharp punished. Killer Khan. Killer Khan's a vicious man. He's on the attack. Nearly trying to break him off of there. Khan breaking just enough to get the legal break in, then he's back to the attack, and he's going for the juggler. Wants to shut that air off. They can shut the air off of the, or the blood in the carotid artery. It takes a man's oxygen, and your oxygen's just like running an engine of a car with gasoline. Without that gasoline, you're not going to go. Killer Khan really bearing down on big man Mike Sharp. And Mike is just taking the brunt of that attack. Mike pulled himself together enough to get out of the way. But he's still on shaky legs. And Akbar's wanting Khan to get him while he's still got the advantage. Khan stalks him. The big man fires that right into the gut. And he's dishing a forearm out. And I'll tell you, when Iron Mike gets on a roll, he's got the power of a steam engine. And he's got the endurance, the stamina, and the conditioning to back it up. Into that bear hug. He's got Killer Khan screaming in agony. And Akbar's upset. Here at the Irishman Neal Boys Club, the crowd intent in this Louisiana title match. Mike Sharp bearing in. Killer Khan rakes the eyes of Mike Sharp to free himself from that bear hug, Boyd Pierce. Hip toss. Well, he was going for that flying elbow, but Sharp maneuvered out of the way.
Killer Khan and Mike Sharper. Sharp pummeling away, driving it into Killer Khan with the powerful shoulders. Thrust kick by Khan. Khan caught Sharp in the throat with a thrust kick. Now Akbar is telling him to finish him off. Slam. And the Killer Khan goes up for the coup de grace. High in the air, Sharp. Sharp got out of the way. Sharp sustained himself, fighting off every onslaught by the vicious Mongolian. And Akbar is upset with that one. Mike Sharp going for the pile driver. Mike Sharp going for the pile driver. And Akbar comes in and intentionally gets disqualified to save that title. But Mike Sharp retaliates and he starts whacking Akbar. He's punishing Akbar. Akbar intentionally got disqualified by coming in the ring to save that title. Killer Khan. Whoa, Killer Khan is. Mike Sharp, that would have been a disqualification, but Akbar had already been disqualified for interference, and Mike Sharp, Mike Sharp has got Akbar back in the pile driver, again in the pile driver. Boyd Pierce, Mike Sharp has really dished it out to the general. The general is flat on his back. Keller Khan flat, and Mike Sharp, the winner by disqualification. The title does not change hands. But what's more important is Mike Sharp has taken the measure of Skandar Akbar's army. That means we'll have standby matches and they'll be coming up. Mike Sharp taking the belt. The belt does not change hands, Boyd Pierce, but he's won a great moral victory. Stay with us. We'll be right back.